guys welcome to another vlog so i'm really excited for this vlog because i'm going to show you guys my new chanel pieces that i picked up from the cruise 22 23 collection and some other little bits i've just finished doing my makeup and how glowy and like flawless is this look if I do so myself, I'm obsessed. So I recently shopped on Look Fantastic to replenish my makeup bag and kind of my key bits that I always use and need. They have amazing discounts on the website and they've also given me a discount code, which is Nuri LF up on the screen, which gives you additional discount on top of the discounts that are already running on their site. Because it's that time of year where, you know, like you get to the end of year and your makeup bag is running low. I thought I'd stock up on that. I'm gonna show you the bits that I always use and then also some new bits I picked up because they look fantastic website they have so many brands so many amazing skincare hair care makeup brands on there so I did get a little bit sidetracked and picked up some new bits that I wanted to try and haven't tried before okay so I'll do an order of what I did I started off with this product which is the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast B5 this has been a product in my collection for like a couple of years now when your skin is really dry irritated or the barrier has become like broken or something's going wrong with the skin this is a thing that will fix it this is the miniature version I normally get the bigger one but I thought I'd get the mini one because they have a six month timeline and I feel like because you can get so much use out of such a little bit I find that when I get the big products I have to throw them out after the six month mark so I've got a little tube of this and this is perfect especially for the winter months when it's drier I'm going to show you what it looks like on the skin it literally is like a balm for your skin and it just repairs the skin barrier so it blends really easily and I also feel like it's the perfect makeup base because it just gives you that smooth like really dewy glowy finish like my skin looks hydrated even though I've got lots of powders on here I've got foundation this having this as a base keeps my skin hydrated especially when it feels a bit irritated and it's super affordable I think this is like under 10 pounds and this lasts so so long so I had to replenish my kind of makeup based skincare I feel like also this was kind of going viral on TikTok like this was the thing that everyone was saying to get from the French pharmacies it's like a known thing so I picked that one up this was actually a new product that I wanted to try because I ran out of my usual eyebrow gel not eyebrow gel what's it called eyebrow soap thing that I use because I love that soap brow look and I ran out 
and I saw the Anastasia, this is called the Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. Again, something that I saw on TikTok and got influenced by. I just had really great things. So I bought the brush that they recommend with it from Anastasia. It's got the spoolie at the end and it's got this bit that you pick up the brow freeze with. It's like this invisible look, it's literally invisible. This invisible thing that you do kind of spoolie and then put on your eyebrow and then you brush into your desired eyebrow look and I just found it super easy to use. It was the first time using it today and I am obsessed. Like I feel like this is gonna be my go-to eyebrow thing now. When this runs out, this is what I'll be buying again because it just was so easy to use. Sometimes with soap brows, there's bits that come off. Throughout the day, it can look a bit crumbly. So I'm gonna keep you updated on my brows throughout the day. I mean, I'm vlogging so you'll see throughout the day what my eyebrows look like, but so happy with this. For my lips, this, is a product that from the beginning of YouTube I have always used. You guys will be familiar with this. It's the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London and this is my go-to centre lip colour when I want that ombre lip look. So I always go in with like a brown lip liner and then this is what I always put in the centre and it gives that really nice pinky look and then I'll top it off with a gloss. So mine run out these are super affordable i think this is like six or five pounds and they do really last a long time and it is my go-to lips like whenever someone asks me why i've got my lips i always say nyx soft matte lip cream in the center so had to pick this up and then to finish the makeup set the makeup again another og product this is the urban decay all nighter setting spray and this really does set your makeup and I cannot leave the house and do my makeup without a setting spray. Like it just feels wrong. Like I need to dredge my face in this. So this is the All Nice Spray. It's a setting spray. It is long lasting and it is one of the best setting sprays out there. So I restocked on that. Then I also restocked on the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. This is again another product that you guys probably would have seen on my channel. I just love a fresh cleansing balm. As you know, I take my makeup off with cleansing balms always, so I just kind of melt it into my face. And this is one of those cleansing balms that is really nice to travel with because it's a solid that you then melt into an oil. It's really nice to travel with because it doesn't leak through your bag. It's honestly such a nice therapeutic feeling. I also love the smell of it. It's like a, it's a really subtle smell. It, what does it smell like? It reminds me of a spa. It's not a very strong smell. It's a very light, it's a nice spa smell talking about spa i got from esper the cleaning green detox mask i just feel like my skin has been breaking out recently especially on the sides of my face so i want to plan for myself tonight so after i take my makeup off i'm gonna do a face mask those are the things that i picked up kind of just restocking my makeup bag my skincare kind of my products that i always go to and then also some newer products like the brow freeze which I'm obsessed with. So use my discount Nuri LF if you are interested in picking anything up. They stock so many amazing brands. Like literally all the brands that you probably use already are, are stocked and look fantastic. So I'm gonna link everything that I spoke about. I'm gonna straighten my hair and then I'll catch up with you guys. Oh, let's do the unboxing next. I won't keep you guys waiting. Let me straighten my hair and then I'll do the Chanel unboxing and show you guys what I picked up from the cruise collection. Okay guys, so I actually decided not to straighten my hair because I was just feeling a little bit lazy and straightening my hair is quite long. So I got my sister to Dyson wrap, air wrap my hair, but it looks a bit funny, like I'll show you. Like it was, it's obviously, it's gone, um, it's dropped, like it was more full on, but short hair is quite limited. Like you can only really do so much with it. So um, just tying it up. Right, so. Thought I would do my Chanel unboxing. So I said I shopped from the Cruise 2022-2023 collection. Um, and I picked up some ready-to-wear pieces and a pair of shoes. So I'm just going to quickly show you. I'll talk about the event a little bit because I did record some clips. So I got invited by Chanel to go and preview the collection before it went live. And um, it was really nice. They got to speak through, through the collection. I got to see the outfit so I could kind of pick out what I wanted and go and try them on in store before they went live. So I kind of had like a bit of an early access, which was nice because normally with certain pieces, they get sold out instantly. And then this made me realize why in previous years when I've gone to Chanel and wanted to get certain things, why they were always sold out when they just got launched because people have access to it before it goes live, which I didn't know, but now I know.
really nice and they gave this little goodie bag which was really really cute i'm gonna tell you what was in there first of all this chanel book which is basically of the collection so you've got nice images of the collection it's actually a really nice like glossy book and the pages inside are like that thick quality paper and then this chanel beauty bag which is very nice and we'll be using this and inside there there were three products they gave me a waterproof uh the eyeliner i believe this is in, probably in the shade black let's actually see but it's a very classic chanel thing isn't it like a black eyeliner yeah it's a black eyeliner i'll probably give this to my mum because i don't really wear eyeliners like that and then a mascara which is good because i actually always need oh this is a really pretty mascara you can see it has the chanel logo at the top oh that's cool i like that that's the brush i really like the mechanism of that so the mascara and then a lipstick i bet this is a red lipstick oh it's got that same packaging you just click it it's actually a really nice nude color which i would wear this is like the kind of color i would wear okay so that is what they gave at the event and then on to the unboxing so i went to try some things on and i really like some ready to wear pieces and for me personally chanel ready to wear in every collection there's not something that i like but i really want to build up my ready to wear collection because i love chanel and i think their ready to wear pieces are like investment pieces because when they become vintage they sell for so much more than what they were when you bought them and like i love so many vintage chanel pieces but they're so expensive so i thought why not start my own <laughs> chanel collection with ready to wear pieces that i like so i'm going to show you what i got this is how it comes packaged i actually don't know what is in each one like i know obviously what i've got but i don't know what i'm opening because there's no label so we'll just do it as we go along okay so it comes with the dust bag for the top okay so this was the first top that i picked up it's inspired by um like racing monaco so this is a striped top which i thought was very on brand with chanel like stripes french and i like the details that it has so it has chanel on the neckline and then also at the bottom it says chanel and then what sold me was the back detail so it has an open back and it has these buttons at the back of it with embellishment and I thought it was so pretty. It's buttons there and then it has buttons, two buttons at the bottom of the top. And I just thought this was a really nice top to wear with jeans, just really casually. And I thought these pieces were things that I would wear a lot, like very wearable pieces, which is what I wanted because I want to be able to wear them a lot. I tried it on with like a black uh, skirt. It would just go with a lot. It's a black and white t-shirt. And I just love the little details. I think the open back is going to be so pretty for spring, summer. Next up. Okay, so this one. I didn't actually think much of it when I saw it in the mannequin. And when it, I saw it in store. But when I tried it on, I really loved it. It was just giving me very casual, chic vibes. And it's something that I think I will wear a lot. So, it is this top. Which is like a t-shirt. It has these like big oversized sleeves so they you can see where this line is it's not supposed to be like a proper fitted t-shirt it is supposed to be like that oversized relaxed vibe for this one i really like the details on it so it has you have the chanel cc here in the white and then the buttons it has buttons halfway going half down top and then you have the chanel logo buttons here let's see how close yeah again it's in stripes black and white and i just thought this with some jeans with some white pants with a denim skirt in the summer i just really like the fit of it it was just giving me really casual chill vibes it's just really wearable pieces that i wanted to get so yeah it's a casual chanel top but it's the details on it like this little logo and the buttons that make it that special piece and it's also a piece that i want to have in my wardrobe forever so i do feel like it will be an investment piece because they're just classic pieces so yeah this is the next bit that i got the last one i'm really excited for this one because I think this is the one that it will probably get worn the most. So this one is a little tank top in the stripes and it has the Chanel logo in the middle. 
Now this one I was really excited for because I've been on the hunt for the vintage. There's a vintage version of this. I don't think it has stripes. It's like a plain, they have it in plain black and plain white. And they sell for like around 2,000, 3,000 pounds. Like plain little tank tops with the Chanel logo, vintage, are super hard to find and often very expensive. So this was giving me like major vintage vibes and I just thought it was really cute and something that I'm going to wear so much. I love the stripes. I love the white Chanel logo in the front. It's in this like terry cloth toweling material. And I think this is my favourite because I can just see myself wearing this so much. And I just really love it. It's super cute. So I'm really happy with the pieces I got. I feel like they're just really casual and just pieces that I can wear a lot. So... That was that for ready to wear. And then, like in my head I was like, Chanel trainers are out. Like I love my Chanel trainers I have in grey. I think they're great and they're so comfortable. Like I wear them a lot just because they're really comfortable. And I was like, oh Chanel trainers are out. I don't think they're really a thing anymore. And then when I went to the preview, I saw these trainers everywhere on all the models. And I was like, I need those trainers. Like they just look so fun and like something that I would wear a lot and I know that they're super comfy so for me it was a worthwhile purchase because again something that I'm going to wear a lot so I picked up the trainers these are the trainers they are the silver I'm not sure what they're called but they're in their classic the Chanel style and I just thought they're really nice, simple pair of trainers. I really love the silver detail. I wear white trainers the most and I love the silver detail. I feel like it just really added the pop. It was fun. Metallics are really in this year and will be in next year. But even if they weren't, I just really love how shiny and fun they look. Um, and they're so comfy. Like this style of trainers are super comfy. So they have the Chanel logo here. And yeah, that was it. That's what I got from Chanel, keeping it short and sweet. The trainers and three tops and I'm really really happy with what I have because I just think they're all things that I'm going to wear a lot and if you remember last year in one of the vlogmases I did an unboxing of a Chanel jumper that I bought and I'm so happy like this year like I have no regrets about that like it's for me every time I see that jumper it gives me happiness because it's such a beautiful piece and when I wear it it feels so special um so I got these th these for myself as a birthday treat to myself because I did feel a bit guilty buying that much and I remember trying on the tops in the Chanel store and I was like right I'm only going to pick one top and that's it and then I was trying on all the tops and I was like but these are so nice and it's not often that I find Chanel ready to wear pieces that are in my size that I like. True was with me in the changing room like giving his opinion he was like yeah they're all really nice that like, he couldn't pick one to tell me to get. So I ended up getting all three and then I ended up getting these trainers and I was like, you know what, this is a birthday gift to myself for my birthday because I've had a really great year, I've worked really hard this year and I feel like I'm deserving of these gifts. So I treated myself and I'm just really happy and you guys will be seeing these pieces now that I've shown you. Although they are more like spring summer so you're not really going to see it this time of year because obviously collections come out before the seasons but yeah that's what i got from chanel let me know what you think about these pieces guys only if they're good things though don't tell me if you hate them because i'm not going to return it so yeah that is it that's what i got from chanel so guys we decided to come to um there's like a mayfair food market that my friend ambika sent me on tiktok this morning and she was like we should go there so we're, we're going, going. <laughs> um it's i think today is the last day to actually visit the thing like it's today's the last day like it's gonna close and it's basically made by novikov um and there's like different food stores just very christmas vibes so we're gonna go there and basically that will be our dinner basically we're going to winter wonderland bringing you guys along if it, it feels to this one feels like a vlogmas because yeah, winter wonderland and a christmas food market like that is very vlogmas i changed my jumper to like a high neck cashmere this is from cos just because it will get colder in the evening we're matching true yeah i'm also wearing a cashmere is this cashmere i don't remember is it from cos as well yeah yeah from cos <laughs> Twin egg. Warm. oh my god it feels like so christmassy it right does now. doesn't it <laughs> we're just sitting in like mesa like watching a little people. bit
it looks so good. So I'm good. gonna have to try some of this. Are you happy? <laughs> this, is, this is heaven for me. Nice. Do how much sauce they gave? I don't know where to start. Guys, look who I'm with. Hey. She wants a lip gloss on for you guys because um, she said you deserve the best view of her lips. So, what lip is that? And she gives oh. you lip oil. Is that good? Yeah, actually, it's quite nice. The only thing is, it, it's it looks really cute. It's a bit um, vegetable oily. Oh, can I smell it? Yeah, no. It doesn't smell nice. I don't know where the honey is. Oh, yeah, Do you get what I mean? It smells like yeah. Honey. But, it, but it makes your lips look nice and juicy. It works. Um, we just had some food at the market. Yeah, it was good. What did you get? I got a uh, potato fondue. And I had uh, beef pasta, which was nice. It was nice. It was, it was all right. It was just very rammed. Yeah, very busy. We expected it to be a bit quiet. spaced out. And quiet. But we're going to find a pub now to watch the match. We don't, we don't care for the match, but <laughs> True and Alex are gonna... They really want to watch. So we'll just sit and do some online shopping, maybe. <laughs> I already did so much shopping today. No, you're... Guys, if you think I'm bad and I do too much shopping, she is worse than me. Like every day she's showing me what she gets, so yeah, it makes me feel better. <laughs> I know, I'm actually gonna stop. I'm on a ban. <laughs> you know, I thought I'm I was, on a ban. You know, she's like, oh, I've got this and this is. I'm like, okay, I thought I was bad. No, like, I'm actually, you're I'm actually, actually on a really ban bad. Now. We'll see about that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we're gonna go and then we're gonna go to Winter Wonderland and get some churros together. Back from Winter Wonderland, which was at whoop, I can't even speak, I'm so tired. Back from Winter Wonderland, which was really nice. Um, we actually went like one hour before it was closing, so it meant that it wasn't as busy as it would be. So we got to go on two rides, which was really fun. Had some churros, and also, oh my god, you have to pay to go into Winter Wonderland now. Like all the previous years, it was free to go in, but now you have to pay for like if you go in during peak time, and obviously on a Saturday that was peak time, so we had to get tickets to get in. So bear that in mind if you are planning on going Winter Wonderland. Um, but yeah, I thought I would do my, just take my makeup off with you guys and show you how I use my LMS Cleansing Face Balm. It's quite a nice therapeutic moment. And I also wanted to use my, the Esper Detox Mask, which are both available on Look Fantastic and you can use my discount code NuriAlaf on these products or on any other products on Look Fantastic. Um, this is the fresh pot, I'm just going to take a little bit like that, just melting the balm into my hands and it literally melts so easily and it will melt your makeup away. Okay so once you've melted the makeup off I go in with my face halo which just wipes away all of this so you'll see. Okay, and then I'm just basically gonna go in with another cleanser to wash my face, like a foaming cleanser, to rinse this off, and then we'll do the face mask. But I'll do the face mask in my bedroom, because I actually don't put my face masks on in the bathroom. I tend to do it in my bedroom, I don't know why. Maybe because after I put my face mask on, I sit in my bedroom on my phone. So I'll put my face mask on in the bedroom. I'm just gonna rinse my face off. But yeah, it's really good, like it actually just takes off the makeup completely, even your waterproof mascaras. Okay guys, so I have wash my face i'm gonna go in with the face mask this is the esper clean and green 
detox mask which is what I feel like I need like a really purifying mask to suck out all the excess oils okay guys that is it I'm gonna sit on my phone for a bit let this do its thing for like 10 minutes and then wash it off and go to bed it's been a really long day but a really nice day I always love days where like we go out spend time with friends and just do different things I had a really great day so I'm gonna end the vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um and yeah we'll see you in the next video guys take care bye